Well, for almost a year now, artificial intelligence has taken the world by storm with the initial launch of ChatGPT to the technology becoming the new it word of earnings. In September, however, we saw the first steps by the U.S. government to regulate the emerging technology, and it may be that it works in favor of big tech. Let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Dan Halley to give us more details. Dan. That's right, Akiko. We're seeing more tech companies come forward saying that they want the U.S. government to regulate them. And it's kind of an odd statement for them to make. Why would they want to be regulated when they can basically just have a free for all right now? Well, there's a few reasons. The, the first of which is they want to make sure that what they're putting together doesn't eventually get regulated out of existence. Basically, uh, if what they're trying to do is create new types of technologies, uh, they're investing billions of dollars. If new regulation comes in and says, well, you can't do that because of X, Y, Z reasons, then they've just wasted billions of dollars. So that's part of it. The other is that it gives them a seat at the table when it comes to kind of putting these rules together. They'll uh, come out and say, you know, we want this regulation, but maybe we should do it this way. Uh, and it'll allow them to have at least some kind of say. Uh, the closer they are to it, the better. Uh, there's also the idea that they would have uh, a singular rule that they would have to deal with rather than a patchwork of rules uh, across the 50 states. And so that's something that we currently see with the privacy laws uh, for uh, the U.S. There are, are a number of different laws for each area of the country, different states, and it, it makes it difficult for companies to kind of understand where they're coming from. Uh, and then finally, it helps with consumers uh, and ultimately their customers decide if they actually want to buy into these types of AI. You know, um, one expert I spoke to likened it to a doctor prescribing a medicine that's approved by the FDA. Well, it has the full backing of the FDA so they can be confident knowing that it will be uh, a, you know, type of medicine that will help their patients. And that's kind of the same idea, although I think it's illegal to prescribe anything that's not approved by the FDA, but it's the same kind of thinking where uh, these customers, big businesses, are more likely to purchase some kind of AI technology from these companies if it's got the full backing of the federal government and it meets certain regulations. So there's, there's a number of reasons why these companies are doing it. We just have to see if it actually happens. Indeed. I mean, these tech companies are essentially the ones pushing a lot of this technology forward. And then when you keep in mind also, when you look at AI, it's something that, that's borderless, essentially. So how does that work with perhaps international markets? You know, the EU is always taking an eagle eye on issues like this. How will this all then work together if you have the US government trying to sort of push its own uh, AI agenda here for tech companies? But a lot of these are multinational tech companies. Yeah, I mean, it comes down to what each area wants. China pushed forward its own guidelines for AI. Um, they're uh, implementing those. They're going to be different than what the, the EU is looking to do. They're trying to introduce the AI Act by the end of this year. Uh, and so what they would do is uh, put up different regulations based on the risk factors uh, of the different types of AI that are available. Um, and so that's going to differ from what, what China is doing. And then the U.S. may have something different uh, as well. And really what it comes down to is how big are these areas? How uh, can they easily put together regulations that meet criteria for them without having to double up or triple up. Um, and so, you know, where we saw the EU put together privacy laws, they've, you know, you'll see some questions about whether you want a website to access your data on, uh, you know, the, the web. Um, that's coming from California, which took off of the EU. Um, you know, if you went to China, though, you can't access some of the apps that we have here. So I think it just comes down to how these companies will be able to calculate risks per region. Uh, I think at this point for the U.S., it's just sure we can do whatever we want. We just want to make sure that we don't sully our name with a bad product. OK, well, we'll see how it all shakes down there uh, with a heavy push from these tech companies. Dan Halley, as always, thanks so much for that.